Hello, and welcome to the League of Legends Strategy Guide. This time, we're going to talk about the new champion, Orn, the fire below the mountain. Fine, we go. Orn has only been on the rift for a while now, and I gotta say, he is probably my favorite champion right now. His kit is specialized as a sustaining top laner who doesn't have to leave lane often, but because of his incredible new debuff, I believe he could be one hell of a tanky support. Orn is the no-nonsense, gruff-talking, badass with the heart of gold we all know and love. Think Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec, but make him an 8-foot tall goat god with a hammer. That's Orn in a nutshell. Orn has three passives. First is Living Forge. Orn can forge his own items anywhere on the map as long as he is out of combat. He takes four seconds to forge each item, and recommended items are shown on the forge menu above the inventory. However, taking any damage or entering combat will interrupt the forging process, so it's best to do this when safe. His second passive is Master Craftsman. Everyone on Orn's team can purchase special upgrades for specific items. Each upgrade increases the stats of the original item, and the variety helps for every laner. However, each team member can only have one upgraded item at a time, so choose carefully. His last passive is Brittle which is a brand new status effect in the league. Orn's W and Ultimate apply Brittle onto enemy units for 6 seconds. If they are struck by Orn, it consumes the mark and knocks them back. But here's what makes him such a team player. If an affected enemy is hit with any immobilizing effect, it consumes the mark and deals percent maximum health damage and extends the effect. His last passive is what makes him such a lane bully or the perfect support, as each immobilizing effect will deal more damage and last longer. As a support, he excels with AD carries that have some sort of immobilizing effect in their toolkit, like Jin, Kate, or Ash. Honestly, if an Orn can brittle a target only for them to step into a Kate trap and get immediately headshotted, it might as well be game over for the enemy team. Orn's Q is Volcanic Rupture. Orn slams his hammer onto the ground, sending out a skill shot that damages and slows any enemy hit. After around one second, it creates a magma pillar that is impassable and lasts for four seconds. This is his poke tool and a fantastic combo setup. It does a decent amount of damage early on, and its impassable terrain combos off with his W and his E. Because the terrain is impassable, it's also useful as a way to limit the enemy team's escape and to create special choke points. Orn's W is Bellow's Breath. He channels and becomes unstoppable for 4 seconds, spitting that hot fire, dealing current health damage, shielding himself for 12% of his maximum health, and applying Brittle to any enemy hit. This will be your engage and wave clear, and every enemy hit gets the Brittle debuff. It'll make CSing super easy. It'll also be great for harassing the enemy laner, as it does a percent of their current health and, once struck, will knock them back. Orin's E is Searing Charge. Orin will charge forward, dealing physical damage to enemies hit, and will collide with terrain. If he collides with terrain, he will create a shockwave around the area that damages and knocks up enemies for one second. Any terrain created by champions, like Orin's Pillars or Anivia's Walls, are destroyed. Orange Charge is the last step of his combo. If you use his breath into a charge onto a pillar, you can chunk down the enemy laner and potentially get the kill. But lately, I've been using it as a good escape. Orn's ultimate is Call of the Forge God. Orn summons an elemental that charges toward Orn, applying the brittle debuff, damaging and slowing all enemies hit. If he recasts it before the elemental passes through, Orn can redirect the charge, sending it in a new direction, knocking up all enemies hit. This ult can be hard to hit, but if it's timed correctly, can make or break a team fight. However, the elemental counts as a projectile, so it can be stopped by Yasuo Walls or Braum Shield. Uh, never mind. Did he win wall my fucking ult? Okay, get wrecked. I am upsetty, pusketty, and meatballs. When playing Orn, it's better to build as a tanky sheep, as his shields are based on his maximum health, and with his passive, it's easy to build around whatever damage type you're up against. Taking some magic damage? Just forge out a spirit visage. Or against a rough 80 carry? Just make yourself a nice shiny set of thorn mail. 
I usually run with either Teleport or Exhaust, depending on whether or not I'm supporting. And I'll usually run with Defensive Runes and Max's Q first. Thank you all for watching another strategy guide. We'll see you on the Rift.